Okay, in this video, we are gonna use calculus to find the area between some curves, and we are gonna integrate with respect to y. So our integral is gonna be dy. Uh, let's see what the problem is. So we wanna find the area of the region bounded by the curves. y equals the square root of x, y equals one, and x equals four. So that's only three things that we're being given, which means there's like a fourth one that we'll have to figure out because you always need to find a lower bound, which I call the bottom, an upper bound, which I call the top, a left bound and a right bound. So we need four things, we only have three, so we'll have to find one of them. So the three things are the square root of x, I'm pretty comfortable with that curve, and then this is just a horizontal line, this is just a vertical line. So should be able to sketch the region. So let's do this. I'm gonna actually mark up the axis, which I don't usually do because you're really just looking for what the region looks like. So I get this, okay. And I'm gonna start with the square root of x which I know goes through one, one, and I know goes through four, two. Those are nice points, so I'm gonna use those. And then I'm gonna sketch in y equals one. And then finally, x equals four. And you can now see the region that's bounded by all three curves. So I'm gonna fill that in because that's the area we're trying to find. This is an integral that would definitely be pretty easy to do in terms of x, but we're gonna do it in terms of y because it's good for practice. Um, and you probably just don't do enough of them. So let's see what we have. Um, well, this is definitely the right-hand curve, right? So the right-hand curve is a little weird because it's x is a function of y, but it's actually a constant, so it's x equals four. So that happens all the time when you're integrating with respect to x, and if you do enough with y, you'll just kind of get used to it. And then this is definitely the left-hand curve, and that we're gonna have to deal with because it's given as y equals the square root of x, and we actually need it to be x is a function of y, so we'll deal with that. And then uh, the bottom curve is right there. We do need to figure out the the top, uh, you know, the top of this region. But if you look at it, it's that intersection point four two. So right there is the top. So we're going to integrate from uh, y equals one up to y equals two. So let's uh, figure out this left bound because that's an issue. So for the left bound, it's given as y equals the square root of x but we need to change that. So I'm gonna solve for x, I'm just gonna square both sides. X is gonna be y squared. Now what we're gonna do is uh, set up our integral. So it's the integral from the bottom, which is y equals one, to the top, which is y equals two. And then the quantity, uh, right curve minus left curve. So the right curve for us is actually this uh, constant here, x equals four. So it's just gonna be four minus, um, and then y squared which is our left curve. Close this, and then it's with respect to y. So now we just uh, find an antiderivative and evaluate it and just use the fundamental theorem. So the integral of four is gonna be four y minus the integral of y squared is one third y cubed. And then we're gonna go from one to two. And now we substitute in. So I like to put parentheses around uh, each thing, like so when I substitute in for two, I'm gonna put that whole thing in parentheses, I'm gonna say minus parentheses substitute for one, or substitute one, whatever I'm saying. Uh, so I'm gonna substitute two right now, and that's why it's starting with a parentheses. It's gonna be eight minus eight thirds, close it, minus, now we're gonna substitute one, we just get four minus one third. So what I recommend here is, instead of uh, simplifying each set of parentheses, think about what you're dealing with this is good anytime you end up with uh, fractions and denominators. Well, fractions, I should say. Uh, it's always a good idea to combine things that have already got the same denominator. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna do eight minus four, which gives me four, and then I'm gonna do negative eight thirds minus negative one third. So I'm doing this part, and that's negative eight thirds plus one third, which is minus seven thirds. This is always a little bit faster, and I find people make fewer mistakes this way. So now I just need to combine these, and that's gonna give me five over three, which should be the final answer. That's the area of the region. We also could have done this with respect to x, but I think it's better to practice with respect to y. Also, if you can do it both ways, which if you have a calculator, you definitely can, no question, um, you, you can always check your answer, which is also really good. So that's it. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.